can't have sweet without some heat. We're taking sweet honey and fire hot sauce. And we're frying up some chicken, y'all. Hot damn, I'm excited. We're making some hot honey fried chicken today. I'm gonna teach you guys how to break down a chicken. It's gonna be cheaper, it's gonna be better for you too. It's gonna be better tasting, in fact. We're gonna rub it with a little bit of salt, sugar, and also some baking powder, cause that's gonna make it nice and crispy and all that crust is gonna stick to it real well. We're gonna dredge it in some hot sauce and buttermilk, throw it in some flour and cornstarch, fry it up. And then, as if that weren't enough, we obviously need a little bit of sweet heat, cause that's the name of the show, y'all. We're gonna be putting in some habaneros, honey, and a little little bit of hot sauce together and we're gonna drizzle that at the end. It's gonna be damn delicious. So if you like me, if you like this recipe and you like this show, hit like and subscribe and you'll be notified as soon as there's another Sweet Heat episode, y'all. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like, what just happened? <laughs> So I'm gonna teach you how to break down a chicken. I think this is like super useful and it is actually really, it's cheaper to buy a whole chicken than to get one that's like already broken down. And I also think that it's, the flavor is better because you can get a better quality chicken and it's usually fresher if it's whole and it's actually super simple. The chicken is actually going to tell you where it needs to be cut. I know that sounds weird, but that's, that is actually true. There's a little flap of skin here that connects the drumstick and the thigh to the breast. So what we're gonna do is take a very sharp knife and then just cut it just like that. So then you wanna pop the bone out of the socket. This is the thigh that is connecting to the back. So now you know exactly where your cut needs to be. So you want to start here and then just cut. And that's it. So now we've separated the leg and the thigh from the body. So you can see here, there's a line of fat and this line of fat is your guide for the next cut to separate the thigh and the drumstick. Now, you just go in, boom. Now we have a thigh and a drumstick. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Pop the bone. Now we know exactly where to cut. We're gonna go around this. Easy. Look for the line of fat right there. Cut, boom. Two drumsticks, two thighs. So now for the wings, you can see where the, the wing attaches to the body. So it's like right there. So then you know exactly where you need to cut. And then just cut around, boom, wing. Now just do the same thing on the other side. Boom, two wings. So for the next cut, I actually prefer scissors. I think it's just easier. So all you have to do is just use kitchen shears and just cut through the bones in the back. Your shears need to be sharp as well. So that is my stockpile. <laughs> and then for cutting the two breasts, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm just going to put a lot of pressure down very quickly to break the bone, and then it'll be a really easy cut after that. So, like that, break the bone, and then just cut. Boom, two breasts. Because these are really large pieces, and because one side is thicker than the other, I'm gonna cut them in half again so that they cook more evenly. Where it starts to taper off the thicker part of the breast, that's where you wanna make the cut. So it's slightly off center. Go through, when you get to the bone, you'll feel it and then just break it. Same thing with this one, make your cut and then break to the bone, boom. Now we have 10 pieces of chicken. Now that we've broken down our chicken, we're going to put the rub together for it. So this, it's a really, really simple rub. It's salt, sugar, and the mystery ingredient or the crazy ingredient is baking powder. So this is something that I usually do when I'm making chicken wings. So the baking powder actually creates a nice, dry, crispy skin so that when you either bake or you fry your chicken wings, it gets really, really crispy. So what I do, and I know this is like sort of annoying because I'm gonna ask you to do this overnight, but 
I don't, personally, I don't make fried chicken very often. So it's like when I'm gonna make it, it's gonna be really, really amazing. So I don't mind like planning it out and putting the chicken in overnight. All you have to do now is that we whisk everything together with my tiny little whisk, um, is just sprinkle both sides of the chicken with this mixture. And I'm putting it on a rack set inside a rimmed baking sheet because what I really want here overnight is airflow. So the air is gonna circulate in the refrigerator around the chicken. It's gonna dry out um, the surface of the chicken and all of this mixture is gonna dissolve and get absorbed back into the pieces. I'm just like flipping everybody over and give them a pat down just so that the, uh, the salt doesn't fall back into the pan and then just do the same thing with the other side. And you wanna use all of this. I know it probably seems like a lot, but I wanna give the chicken a chance to suck up all of the seasoning. Okay. Now it's transition time. It's time for a showdown, y'all. On this side, we got the dry. On this side, we got the wet. Whisk the flour, cornstarch, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cayenne, and a quarter cup salt in a large bowl. Whisk the eggs, buttermilk, and hot sauce in another large bowl. Working one piece at a time, dredge the chicken in the flour mixture, turning to coat and packing into crevices. Shake to remove, return to the tray, repeat with remaining chicken. Pour six tablespoons of the buttermilk mixture into the flour mixture and work with your fingers. The mixture should feel like wet sand and will have some clumps. The clumps are gonna give the chicken a really crispy, shaggy crust. Dip dredged chicken into the remaining buttermilk mixture and allow excess to drip off. Then pack moistened flour firmly into the chicken. Very gently shake off the excess and return to the rack. Chill 30 minutes and up to 12 hours. It's time, let's go. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this moment for weeks. Ugh. God. It's also really heavy, but I mean, look at it. It's like, oh, I mean, it looks good like this, but once it's fried, oh my God, it's gonna be insane. All right, so I'm gonna check the temp. We want 300 degrees. Again, whenever we fry, we wanna lay things down away from us so that if it accidentally falls, it'll splatter that way and not towards you. So I'm just gonna drop this in. And I usually go maybe like, three to four pieces at a time, depending on how big your pot is. This is a pretty big pot. Okay, so while the last batch is frying, we're gonna make the hot honey sauce. So I have my chopped habanero and my finely grated garlic. I'm gonna pull a tablespoon of the hot frying oil, put that in, sizzle, and just throw this on the back burner. And we're gonna let that fry up. Okay, so it's been about four minutes. I'm gonna add the honey. And if I've timed this right, the last batch of chicken will come out just as soon as the honey and hot sauce is ready. And now to finish up the sauce, we're gonna add a splash of apple cider vinegar. It's ready, y'all! 
We're fixing to eat, y'all. I have been dying to get in this. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful. I mean, it looked amazing without the glaze, but I have to say like, there's just this like extra shine. And then the habanero, Weirdly, it's not as hot as you would think it is, but they've just turned into these like orange jewels and they're just kind of glistening on the surface of the chicken. It's so beautiful. I am not even really a wing guy, but these wings kind of look amazing. So I think that's where I'm gonna go. <laughs> um, it's like so beautiful. Look at it, look, look at it, look how beautiful it is. It's so good. Okay, this might actually be the best thing that I've ever made on the show. Everything is weirdly gentle. I think because of the frying and the oil, the habanero is like gently sweet. The chicken is like very intensely chickeny. And I think that's because there's both the salt and the sugar in the rub. And then, you know, you've got so many textures. It's like really, really tender and juicy. And you've got that really crispy exterior crust. And then you've got like this really nice little pop of honey and habanero, a little bit of garlic on the outside. You have to make this fried chicken. If you've never had homemade fried chicken before, this is going to change your life. This is a really good recipe for fried chicken, but when you add the honey habanero sauce on it, it just takes it to like this completely new, crazy, amazingly delicious level. You gotta make this dish, y'all! Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this, if you like this recipe, if you like this series, and you will be notified as soon as there's another Sweet Heat episode. I'll see you next time. Bye! Now I'm like obsessed with this. <laughs>